Where to now? What's the most important thing to do? Because it's getting kind of late. Well, I definitely, definitely need to check up on the Stamatons. That's very important because they're close to the site of the infection. I mean, I might as well just start going over this direction, right? Like, stash and then go across here to Andre Stamaton up here. Just kind of do that in a line. Damn, my hunger's pretty high again. Let's have the smoked fish. Plus the egg. Oh, this isn't taking me where I thought. Uh, that's fine. I can just go this way and then there's some stairs down. That's a new song, I think. The soundtrack is so good. Clothing store over there. Are there any other? I'm sure there's other clothing stores along the way, though. Yeah. Yeah, let's not go out of my way for that one. It's not worth it. Marbles for two. I don't have anything good to trade for that. Um, seven, four, probably worth it. Two fingernails for coffee? Is that worth it? No. It's funny that the ones who sell coffee are the ones that look like they haven't slept in forever. <sighs> Almost there, there's a gate in right up here on the right. Somebody was just here. She left the nutshell. The house is ours again. Crafting in the evening as usual. What's the nutshell? I feel like I've heard that before. Oh, it got marked? Oh, that's the nutshell. Right, yeah, that was marked once before. Mm, there's a boat right there. Man, that'd be like a 30 minute boat though. Go all the way around. <sighs> hmm. I'm going to save that for later. Shall I do some trading? Um. I don't know what to trade. It's fine. Cool. 
quickest way over up here on the right and then across the bridge. Oh boy. They've already barricaded the place. Of course I'm allowed through, but um, yeah. Shit. Alarmed one. First they locked the termitary, then the murders. Now the factory stopped. Unheard of. Fat Vlad would work us to death with no rest or sleep. His domain never stops. And now they're cordoning off districts too? What's going on? An outbreak. There's an outbreak. But isn't... It, isn't this what happened in the crude sprawl five years ago? They cordoned off the district back then too. Possibly. So it would be wiser of you to leave. Oh, patrolman. This district is locked down under Dr. Denkovsky's orders. These dist districts are off limits to anyone but medical personnel. Are you that, um... Oh, the Varrock? So that, that would be Varrock guy? Oh, that was an attempt at my name. Varrock. <laughs> Burrock. He sure has memory issues, doesn't he? Immunity boosters. Two pills. Protective clothes. One unit. Here you go. Pills. Pills are good. Well, oh, couldn't fit some of that stuff. I'm glad they gave me a starter kit, though. Immunity protects one's health in infected districts. I should keep it high. Protective clothes also help. Let's move some things around. Yeah, that's good. Face mask. I think that's a better condition than my current ones. Um, let's see how those are. <coughs> These are in worse durability than my current ones. Cloth mask. Uh, yeah, this one's a bit better. Still doesn't get reflected in my stats over here. It doesn't increase my immunity, so I don't really get how they work, but I'm sure they do. This mask resembles those worn by medical personnel, but instead of sterile gauze, it's made of dirty cloth, and instead of clinging tightly to my face, it hangs loose. Frankly, it's just a rag with two ties. <laughs> Great. These are definitely going to be good for selling, though. Because there's no reason for me to have multiple clothes, right? Like, if it gets low durability, then I should just repair it. Yeah, I should just sell those. And three immunity boosters. My immunity's pretty high, but like... Fuck, let's just max it out. There we go. Alright. Hmm. Oh boy. Jesus Christ. This district is infected. Listen carefully. I'll explain what you need in order to stay alive. Go ahead. Immunity is your armor. It gets thinner each time you contract the disease, so it would do you good to keep an eye on it. Take pills. You know the drill. Oh right, my potions. Potions. My tinctures also boost, uh, boost immunity. I have my own immunity boosters handcrafted. Infected air lowers your immunity. Slowly, but constantly, simply because you're breathing it in. But that's not the worst part. What is? An infected person's touch, or touching infected surfaces like doorknobs or drawers. Also, sometimes it feels like the pest breathes on you. Breathes? How? 
I'm not a doctor, Master Barach. I'm a common orderly, scared witless. I'm only describing a dream I had. But this pest, it's like it's alive. It speaks, breathes, and woe if it breathes on you. I'll keep it in mind. Anyway, all those touches melt your immunity worse than air, like a hot knife through butter. Then there's a tumor. What? The infection that accumulates inside your body. Checking if you're ready for it. If the world starts to go black before your eyes, escape the infected area before it envelops everything. But if the darkness gives way, that means it's lost interest in you. For now. Jesus Christ. You see interesting dreams, orderly. Okay, so my immunity is constantly going down slowly. Infected people... It even said infected surfaces. So does that mean if I, like... Does that mean if I open any container in an infected zone, that's going to decrease my immunity? But what about with my gloves? Maybe that makes it better? I don't know. Anyway. Oh, so many little wonderful mices. And this whole place is kind of red now. Right. Well, let's not linger, huh? Yeah, let me see if this hurts my immunity if I just, like, open this up. Oh, shit. Um. Hmm. Didn't seem to do anything? Ugh. Ugh. Why are you growing here in an infected zone? Poor herb, I'm scared to use you. Bloody cloth just all around, Jesus Christ. What's that noise? Oh! Hi! What is, what is that? White Whip, that's the first one I've ever gotten. White Whip is poisonous, it can kill. Whoa. Can I make poisons to give people? <laughs> a rare bitter herb growing where there's fear and anguish. That's why I've never gotten it before. So it's going to grow in the infected zones, isn't it? Okay. Um, yeah, don't linger. Straight through. Straight through. Let's get some infected water. That sounds like a great idea. Oh, my vision's going black a little bit. Don't linger, don't linger, don't. Don't linger, don't linger. side. Yeah. Okay, um, let's go to the pub. I think it's safe in there. down the rails away from this place. Fancy meeting you here. Am I disturbing you? No, I'm content. As you can see, Khan has deigned to ask us for help. That's almost like admitting he's wrong. I'd never ask him for anything, however badly we needed it. Pride is more important. We can live without him. He can't live without us. As they say, QED. I think it's a Latin phrase, meaning like... I forgot exactly what it means. I used to know. Uh, what does he want from you? We need to find an abandoned house. 
The dogheads, the snobs, only see things from their ivory tower. My soul and the haves know the town inside and out. Abandoned houses most of all. What kind of house? The house of death. Have you heard the story? The candles, the dawn, the locked door? No. Things like what's happened yesterday and the day before. They never happened. The people died, yes, but not like this. Death has come to town. And death is quite a bird. A home bird, to be precise. So when he comes, he stays in an abandoned house. Even death needs a place to rest. So death is a stay-at-home kind of guy. Huh. Death comes at midnight. That's when trouble starts. But if someone were to find his house before midnight, then either stay there till dawn or light candles inside, he'd be stalled. Also, you're supposed to become immortal. But I don't believe that last part. What do candles have to do with it? Who cares? You're asking like you honestly believe that bullshit. Light candles, scare death away. Light nine, become immortal. <laughs> right. Like the world works that way. Then why are you planning to check this bullshit? When there's smoke, there's fire. Khan is right about this part, at least. There's a grain of truth in any legend. To hell with old grudges for now. My scouts and I are looking for the house of death today. We'll start with a crude sprawl. I have a hunch it's there. Since your old man... I mean, since so many people died there, that's where death must feel at home. You shouldn't go there, kids. The streets are dangerous. I'm not going to cower behind another man. And I want to show Khan the pedagogue how we do things down here. Let them hide in the tower. We'll do the work. That's so. Okay, boy. We'll get there together. Death found himself a home in the crude sprawl. Sounds like an urban legend, but where there's smoke, there's fire. Oh, it's... it's actually marked on the map. Shit. It's pretty close, too. Right next to Saba's place. We can hold our own. Let them try. Oh, shit. This is actually the... The Khan, the great and mighty Khan, right here. Remember, I tried to see him up in the tower a while ago. Yes, yes, I know. We're supposed to stay indoors, and the tower's inhabitants do just that. I make sure my people follow the law. But I'm Casper Kane. Your laws don't apply to me. It's okay. <laughs> Casper Kane? So you're the one they call Khan. I've been looking for you. I am Khan, son of Victor Kane. You knew my father, Isidore Barach. What business did you have with him? We talked. I was curious what Simon saw in him. Simon? Excuse me, were you born yesterday? Simon Kane, the head of our family. My uncle. The immortal man. The one who died two days ago. <laughs> <laughs> the one we can't live without? He molded this town into what it is. He kept its spirit aflame. Do you honestly have no idea who he was? I'm sorry, the reason I laughed is because... The, the sentence, or these two sentences. The immortal man, the one who died two days ago. How is that immortality working out? I'm sorry about your loss, Casper. No two people in the world had more differences than your father and Simon. They couldn't agree on anything, but got very close. Even though they should have been rivals, maybe even enemies. Like Notkin and I. You don't look like enemies. We're enemies, after a fashion. His soul and a halves against my dog heads. But we're negotiating an armistice now. If he lets go of his usual bullheadedness, it might happen. 
Are you happy now? Can we get back to our business? No, I'm not done yet. Do you know how my father died? No, not yet. I have a hypothesis, but it's too early to tell. I'll have to check. Check what? The hypothesis, the theory, the idea. Was I not sufficiently clear? It needs testing. If Notkin stops playing the fool and sends his soul into halves to search, maybe we can even do it tonight. Oh, right, they're talking about Death's house. By the way, Khan, you're an asshole and I fucking hate you. I'm going to start choosing the shittier dialogue options. <laughs> Elaborate. No, I think you're too old to believe in fairy tales. A skeptic would only get in the way. So I won't even waste time explaining. <laughs> but I do believe you. Now I do. And I'm coming with you. Now what did that do? Khan does seem to leave the tower sometimes, meaning one can only meet him when he chooses to be available. Noted. The soul is weaker than flesh. It snaps like a matchstick. Came here to have some fun, Sawbones? Plague is a time for feasts. Is it? <laughs> So I hear you're an architect. Sure am. Have you seen the dancing bridge in the capital? You built that? That's right. And the polyhedron? What do you think? It's one of yours too, I gather. How did you even come up with something like that? One must be able to think boldly. The ground is nothing but dirt. Nothing but soil hiding rotting corpses. It's the realm of the dead. We've always wanted to create something that the Earth cannot touch, cannot defile in any way. I've always considered Earth to be the source of life. What a lout. Have you checked up on my brother yet? I'm going there soon. Great job. Have a drink on me then. Give me the bottle and keep your compliments. Take good care of my brother, Doctor. If I kick the bucket, so be it. But my brother must survive. He's a genius. And you're not? I am the battering ram that clears his path. Me and him are perfect twins. All in all, you seem healthy. The judge will be pleased. What did that just mark on the map? didn't mark anything. Maybe he's just getting rid of this mark? I'm not sure. Eh. Blood twire costs three times as much today. Hmm, do I have any on me? Lucky me? I don't know, is it lucky? Uh, yeah, I got three. I should probably sell them. worth a hundred. White whips a hundred. <laughs> Do I want to buy anything? Coffee would be good, but do I want to buy that or trade for it? Probably trade. I don't think I... Well, hmm. Walnuts I'll definitely grab. I guess chestnuts, too. They're a lot more expensive than walnuts. But, you know, small, good for trading with the kids, I'll grab those. But I'd rather try to trade for food and stuff like that, if possible. Oh man, that twyrine's getting expensive, huh? No inventory space. 
I couldn't even fit this freaking bottle. Wait, what the hell is this? Muddy water. Quench is a little thirst, but is it worth the risk? I can't craft tinctures with it. Oh, is that what happens when you refill water bottles in an infected district? That makes sense. Why did I collect this? Why did I? Let's just drop that shit. Oh boy. Man, it's getting late. Hmm. I guess I should go over here. through over here. Hmm. Yeah, the, they... They like the tinctures because they actually understand their value. Four each. It's pretty good. Candles worth five. Should I trade for a charm? I don't know if there's really a point. I guess I will just because it's smaller. I need the inventory space. Peanuts would be good. Um. Hmm. I don't really have anything that evenly works for it. A chisel... I'll overtrade for it, that's fine. That'll also save some inventory space, because I just got rid of an empty bottle. So this one, huh? Okay, I am scared to enter. Oh yeah, there's infection all over it. Um... I mean, what can I do other than just straight up enter? I'm scared. What am I gonna do? Oof. Oh my god, it locked behind me. Shit. Um... What button was it for the lantern? It's F. F? Oh, it's four? What? Oh, F to light it. Okay. Ooh, pretty good stuff. Ooh. Ooh. Do I have room for all that? No, shit. Okay, okay. What do I have that's of little value? I don't know, everything's worth quite a bit, actually. Are raisins worth anything at all? If a train is late, first we run out of cookies, then chocolate, then candy. Only after that do children remember raisins. <laughs> um, Man, I want to dump off some of these cloth things, you know? Because they're so big, but I'm sure they're worth a decent amount. <sighs> Shit. 
really don't know what to get rid of. Maybe like a grindstone? This is fucking creepy. Bloody bandage. Why? I don't have room for that. I'm gonna leave that. More bloody bandages. Bracelet? It's the first time I've seen that. Um... <laughs> I gotta make more space. <laughs> Damn it. Okay, you know what? My immunity is only halfway full now. How's that gone down so much? Is it going down as I'm in here? Um, but anyway, let's boost my immunity by, by taking one of these tinctures. That'll free up some space. And... Whoa! Did... Did you see that? That just massively reduced my hunger! Tinctures can reduce hunger? I wonder if they have different effects, like other ones maybe reduce exhaustion or stuff like that, or health. Oh my god, that... that's amazing! That's gonna be super important. There, put it in my notes. I don't actually have the recipe for the Yoss Tincture Plus, which is what I just took. But it is for treating bone, or, well, discovering bone problems, and for hunger. I'm blown away with how good that was. Ow. Ah, fuck. Um, I need to rearrange stuff. Yeah, okay, that'll work. <clears throat> a human body is the sum of its circulation, but it often needs to be interrupted for certain medical procedures. Is it talking about using it like a tourniquet? The candle soap's kind of worth a decent amount, but I'm not going to get rid of something else for the sake of it. Hey, you see people walking outside. Like the outside world continues to exist. It doesn't just like disappear just because you went indoors. Anyway, this place is fucking terrifying. I just looted that, a little that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I haven't gone upstairs, haven't gone down here. Man, there's amazing loot in this place. Thankfully, all of that stuff stacks, stacks, stacks. Not the candle stubs, but oh well. I think that was my last match. Oh no, I've got a bunch more matches. Oh god. Jesus. Bloody bandages everywhere. In a package. Ah, fuck. Alright, let me just drop some things so I can open it. I don't know what came out, but it must have stacked with the stuff I already had. Alright, upstairs. What time is it? 10pm. It's pretty late. Thankfully, I have so much that a lot of things just stack. This place is really ridiculously good for loot. It's a children's room. I didn't have room for the safety pin. Oh well. I'll leave the spindle too. Oh! Oh, you came here first. Oh! 
Man, doesn't Khan just look like an obnoxious little Boy Scout dipshit? What? So you're here after all. Who locked us here? Are your friends playing some kind of awful prank? Are you stupid? Our friends would never do that. Something strange really is happening. We need to find a way to open that door. So, what do we do? <clears throat> I, I don't know. I guess we can try lighting candles like in that urban legend of yours. Are you for real? Stay here. If anything happens, scream, and I'll come for help. Door locked behind us, the urban legend was right. Following its logic, I need to inspect the house and light up all candles I can I can find, or wait until dawn. I'm not gonna wait until dawn in here, fuck that. I'm oh yeah, what sorry about, you? about your father, Burach. He was a man of great humanity. Huh. So you came here too? That's lucky. Something does feel off. I think there's someone else here beside us. Who? Perhaps it is Death himself. I never would have said this before, but everything happens. Stay here. I'll come back to you after I check. Have I found any candles to light? Whoa. What was that? Oh my god. Oh man, my immunity's so low again. Well, let's take another tincture. Um. Zerk? A medrol. Ooh, that increased my exhaustion. Ooh, it's really high now. I'm not gonna drink this bottle of water because I don't want to generate the empty bottle. Wish I bought those coffee. Coffee beans. Ah, there we go. What did that do? Lit a candle. Stupid idea, but it's the best I got. Jesus Christ, it's following me. Hmm. Hmm. Another lockpick? That's where the really. Bleh. Death is in this fucking house. No candle in here? Yeah. Fuck that room. Oh god. You think about a water bottle? Who I don't even have room for organs. Oh, there's one in there. Found three candles. I'm sure there's more downstairs. Candles. Five candles. Must be only one left. Where is it? Did I miss it? Oh, 
Oh shit. Oh my god, my immunity is so low. Um, my cloth mask just ripped. And when it does that, it disappears entirely, so I guess there is a good point in having multiples. Yeah, wow, my stuff is falling apart extremely fast being here. Let's take my immunity boosters, I don't do that much. I guess I won't take the medrol because that will increase my exhaustion to the max. Where's the last candle? Ah! The door opened up. Whatever it was, it's gone now. Now we need to grab the boys and leave this place. Yeah, let's get the fuck out of here. Oh, wrong room. I think I'm seeing double. Time to get the hell away from here, right? Indeed. Follow me. Whew. Well, I'm glad they left. I don't know if death really arrived to our town or if it was just a bed of infection. What matters is I've found it and the place will be quarantined. The disease will bite off one district fewer now. Yeah, there's that, because this is not marked as an infected district, but we just found a hotbed of infection, so... That alone is useful. Oh, you're the water bottle trader. Bandage for four water bottles. Yes, please. I do want to keep in mind, though, that I should keep a decent stock of water bottles on me because I'm going to need them for tinctures. Egg would be good. Oh, bracelet's worth six. Bandage is a more even trade. It's really creepy the way they're looking up and to the side and completely away from me. <laughs> a bandage is a more even trade, but I value that more than a bracelet. Do I need to eat? A bit. It's worth eating the egg. Ask for repair. I do need to repair my stuff, but I need a thimble. Safety pin, thimble, thimble. Just those two? Oh my. Wait. Did they break completely? I mean, they're still there, so I guess not. How come they won't repair them, though? I can't select them. Hold on. What if I put on the other ones that have slightly better durability? No? I guess this type of person just can't do shoes. Mm, wait. Safety pin. So with that I could do a repair. Okay, I'll trade a bandage for that. Yep, let's repair this mask. Oh, it doesn't even repair it all the way. It just repaired it up to that bar. And then I guess the next one would do it all the way. Whew. Yeah, like there's one bar in the middle, one bar in the middle. So it'll just get you up to the next tier. Okay, good to know. Now that I know how that works, what time is it? It's almost midnight. Um. Ah, I still need to get to Peter Stamaton. I hope those don't disappear at midnight. Please don't. Can I get to Peter Stamaton's place in a half hour? Probably not. But I'm damn well gonna try. <laughs>